and as was said by Nabila that this morning we were expecting some rains but nature and God has been very kind to us and we have, we have a sunny day and we have a big presence. I would like to thank all of you. First of all, I would like to thank representatives of, of Governor, Bruce Governor, Senator Mark Kirk, Mayor Ram Emanuel, Mayor Roger C. Clare, and Attorney General Lisa Medigan for their messages on the occasion. Then I would like to convey all of you greetings from President uh, Mamroon Hussain and Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. I would also like to especially thank my colleagues from the Councillor Corps who have turned up in such vast numbers. But this is a real celebration of 250,000 strong, dynamic and strong Pakistani community in, West, uh, in Midwest. I wish you happy Independence Day, each one of you. After the traumatic event of, August, of December 17, when 145 children lost their lives in Peshawar, the government of Pakistan has taken a resolute step to fight out the menace of bigotry and hatred from Pakistan. And I am happy to report, after that, the incidents of extremism and terrorism have come down considerably. The latest report by the U.S. The Department of Defense cites Pakistan as one of the rare success stories in global wide fight against terror, whereas the incidents are rising across the world. I must commend the efforts of our valiant soldiers who have laid down their, hope, their lives to fight this menace. Democracy has taken deep roots in Pakistan. 2013 marked the first transfer peaceful democratic elected uh, of government from one elected government to the other. We've had series of elections for Senate, local bodies, and the democracy is well entrenched. Because of the improved law and order situation, Pakistani economy is also registering a robust growth. This year, Pakistan is expected to reach a target of 5%. Karachi Stock Exchange has been cited as the second best performing stock exchange in the world for the last five years. Three days ago, issue of New York Times proudly proclaimed that Pakistan will soon come up as the next center of IT. With 12,000 graduates uh, graduating in IT, they are playing there a tremendous role in, 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 recover, in making the revival of Pakistani economy. On this occasion, I would especially like to laud the efforts of the dynamic Pakistani-American community all over the U.S., but I would like to cite some of the leading examples in this beautiful city of Chicago who have made their marks in the field of technology, commerce, education, health, and medicine. Of course, the star performance is, of course, Mr. Shahid Khan, who is the only Pakistani who figures in the Fortune 500 companies, and he is also the owner of uh, Jaguars, uh, and he's based in uh, Urbana Champagne. The other, of course, we are very happy to have Chaudhry Munir and Chaudhry Rashid, two pioneers of Pakistani industrial presence in the city, who have given employment to hundreds of people in the city. Next is Dr. Tipu Siddiqui, Professor of Neurology in uh, Northwestern University. He is undertaking cutting-edge research in ALS disease. Then Parveen and Ramzal Dhanji have launched a major company which is into IIT. Uh, Dr. Khan Siddiqui, the CEO of Higi, has started a startup which is valued at a couple of hundred million dollars in the US. Farhan Masood, the CEO of SolarTech, who was declared to be one of the leading innovators in 2013 by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And of course, two people, Asif Khan and Fahad Aziz, two graduates in Chicago, who have raised $7 million to start a company, Care Merge, which is also bringing a lot of change in Chicago. 
Similarly, companies like Kayak and Groupon have also made their presence in the international scene. Pakistani cinema, Pakistani art, Pakistani fashion has made its presence here. I am very happy to report that this year Pakistan participated in the Chicago Kicks Soccer Cup and a team of three children from Pakistan they got the silver medal. It was a great accomplishment for those kids who are working as plumbers, as electricians and who are homeless. With these achievements, I am sure these are the real bridges between Pakistan and the U.S. I wish you all the best and I'll, I look forward to a series of celebrations which will continue in Chicago and Midwest till the end of this month. Pakistan, Zindabad!